Hey everybody, this is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport here in San Diego, California. We are the premier dealership for the famous Italian Vespa scooter here in San Diego. We've been doing it for about 30 years and I got something extra special. You probably already saw in the title. I don't have too many scooters I gotta reveal with white gloves on. So let's reveal the scooter and I'll start talking all about it. So here we have the 2022 Vespa 946 Christian Dior edition. So it's pretty much a, a meld of the Vespa scooter, the top of the line 150cc scooter from Vespa, the 946. In all other markets other than North America and I think Japan, it's going to be a 125cc engine and the Parisian famous designer Christian Dior. So the first editions were available in 2013 and 2014. Shortly after, in 2015, Vespa partnered with Empori Armani and they had a very cool looking matte black 946. It had subtle hints of both purple and green in the paint finish. And it was a collaboration with Armani and Vespa and that model was available from 2015 to 2016. And my personal favorite 946 would be the Empori Armani edition. In 2017, they introduced the product red, which helps fund AIDS research. And that's why the scooter's all red. I've reviewed that scooter just recently, about two years ago when we had one, the last one that was in our showroom. So you can look for that video on our Vespa Motorsport YouTube channel if you want more details on the Vespa 946 and how it operates and rides. So mid 2020, right after the pandemic started, Vespa announced that they had a relationship with Christian Dior to create this scooter. So now we're in 2022. We now have the scooters, January, 2022. Here at Vespa Motorsport, we have three of these scooters allocated to our dealership. These are very limited production scooters. They're only going to make 60 of them available for North America or the United States. I'm not sure if there's some extras for Canada and Mexico, but I do know there's 60. The beautiful Christian Dior that I have right here is number 37. So I'll quickly go over this scooter and what it means. So the Vespa scooter was first introduced to the world in 1946, shortly after World War II ended. So Piaggio, was in shambles as with much of Europe and Italy. And they wanted to make an affordable, easy to ride vehicle for the masses of Italy. So that's how the Vespa came about. So the, the 946 is the first model that has a new style of frame, which was carried over to the Primavera and Sprint scooters. So it was just a taste of what was to come from Vespa and Piaggio in 2014 when they introduced the Sprint and Primavera. Everything's made of metal on the scooter. It's a very high-end scooter. The handlebars are all aluminum. The downside is it does weigh quite a bit, nearly as much as the Vespa GTS 300, but it's powered by a smaller air-cooled 125 or 150 cc as this one is engine. Top speed is around 60 miles an hour. They'll go a little bit faster. And definitely on the hills, they're definitely not a performer, but you're riding the scooter for his style and the looks and a quality ride like no other Vespa. These have a very solid feel, much like a very high-end car with, that has a lot of weight to it. Gives you a very, very nice quality, luxurious feel with minimal amounts of creak by using the highest quality materials and finishes to build these scooters. These are hand built in Pontedera, Italy on a separate line that's separate from the rest of the Vespa and Piaggio. I've been to the factory and watched these scooters be hand assembled. They're just station by station. Even the paint jobs are all hand buffed out to a higher level than you'd find on any other Vespa scooter. So if you're looking for details on how the scooter performs and the features of it, you can look at my past videos. I've covered all the features. For 2022, there's no new features. It's pretty much 
unchanged from the 2013 model other than the complete appearance package for this Christian Dior edition. So I'll start from the front of the scooter. The wheel itself is a three-piece wheel. You got the outer rim in a satin gold. You have the iconic ivory color and you have the center cap. And these are all individually bolted together. They're a very nice wheel. They've had it in this nice two-tone color and the gold really complements the ivory color. Standard Michelin City Grip tires. You have the white ivory front fender and it's in aluminum. Moving on up, you have the gold trim and the first I've ever seen on a Vespa, the Vespa Insignia and the 946 in gold. Up above, you have a full LED headlight assembly a basic LCD instrumentation. It shows your speed and fuel level. These scooters do have anti-lock brakes and a traction control system on them. So the safety features are at a level that's much higher than you find on any other 125 or 150 CC class scooter. You have leather wrapped grips with the gold accents on the end caps. Same with the mirrors, they kind of complement the wheels with both the ivory and the gold. And the switch gear is painted in this satin gold finish as well. So the key is the classic flip, flip out style key. It's got a sidewinder high security cut. It's got an immobilizer system in there and it's unique and exclusive to the 946 scooter. So this has to be my favorite part of the Christian Dior. You have the classic bag hook that's found on nearly every Vespa scooter and it's in the insignia of the CD Christian Dior. And it folds down. You could put a small bag right here and secure it on the floorboard. Uh, this part, I do not think this is easily available or retrofitable to the other models, but it's all made of aluminum and in the gold finish. On the aluminum side panels found on the 946, they have this applique with the Christian Dior of Paris, tying into the louvers that are stamped into the aluminum side covers. For the North American market, they do need to add reflectors. And I would say these definitely look the best out of all the reflectors that have been added to these scooters. They've been painted in ivory. No way to really get around this. You could remove it. You'd end up with two holes behind there. And moving on to the pod turn signals that are only found on the North American models to give the correct width for the turn signals because normally the turn signals would be integrated into the body for the European and Asian market 125 Vespa 946. But they've gone to the extra step to paint the pods in the same body color as the ivory on the scooter. Moving down to the muffler, obviously they want the muffler to be subtle and kind of disappear. It's just all in a matte black finish. You have the same wheel on the rear. It's a shame you don't quite see it as much as the front. Moving up to the included rear rack is the aluminum clamps with the rack. This is completely removable if you do not want to have the rack on the scooter and, and included with the scooter is all the special hardware that will plug the holes in very high quality uh, machine finished screws. So the seats finished in leather and the color, I'm not sure if it comes across in the camera, it's a very, very dark blue. Kind of has, it's a more or less a black with a, a hint of gray and blue in it. And it goes very nicely with the ivory color. On the left side of the seat is a key that allows you to open the seat. And it's got an opener under here. You have the spun aluminum gas cap that says Vespa on it. Here is a tool toolbox right here. And you can put registration papers or other items, small items in there. Unlike most other modern Vespas, it does not have integrated storage underneath the seat. So the seat undercarriage, which is all made of cast aluminum, is finished with the Dior Oblique Motif fabric, which is the same fabric you find on many of the Christian Dior bags. 
and it's got quite a soft touch to it. This pillion seat right here is completely removable and included with the scooter is all the hardware to finish off the seat if you do decide to remove the passenger seat on the scooter. So here we have a bag and you may wonder what's in it. Is it something special? As what it appears to be is two more bags. You may ask what these are. You have a large seat cover and also a smaller seat cover. So if you remove this pillion pad, you can use the smaller seat cover just to cover the driver's or the rider's seat cover. And these are included with the scooter. Moving on to the key. This is your master key. If you want to duplicate extra keys, that's the programming key to add additional keys to the scooter. So you probably want to put that away in your safe deposit box. So we'll go ahead and open the box. So what is found under here? Does it look like a puzzle? I don't think so. I'll tell you what these are all about. So you pull this out and the first layer has a combination of some painted parts along with a hardware kit. This is all the pieces to finish the seat if you remove the passenger seat or if you decide to remove the rear rack, these are the covers that would finish off the frame if you remove the rear rack. So that's all included with a scooter. You may never use it, but maybe you wanna change up the looks and remove the rear rack and the passenger seat. Everything's included to finish off those pieces and cover up the hardware. The uh, cover and the first book that comes out, just like all the 946s, the first edition had a book that covered many of the designs of the scooter. The Christian Dior one includes a book, has very glamorous photos of your 946. So let me talk about the accessories that are available, the exclusive Christian Dior accessories for the Christian Dior edition 946. So in North America, they do have the box, the bag, and also a matching helmet available. They are not available at a Vespa dealership. You need to purchase those from a Christian Dior boutique. And the boutiques are typically found in mainstream cities such as Los Angeles, New York, and Paris. Not gonna find one here in San Diego, even though Neiman Marcus probably does have some Christian Dior products. It looks like the helmet is finished in that same motif fabric. I do not have current pricing on any of the accessories for the 946 Christian Dior accessories. And moving on to the other, other literature that's included with the scooter. They're exclusive to the 946 Christian Dior. Which you have the two year warranty booklet and the multi-language owner's manual for the 946. So everybody's probably wondering how much does this cost? Well, you can get a standard Vespa Primavera for around 6,000 bucks, or you can move up to the Vespa GTS 300 for around $8,000. So what's the Christian Dior 946 cost? Well, the saying always goes with luxury items. If you have to ask how much it costs, you probably can't afford it. It's the harsh truth about high fashion, luxurious items, but that's the way it goes. The price on this scooter here in North America is 22,000 US dollars. And you also have taxes and added dealer fees for licensing, registration, and more. So I, Robot, here at Vespa Motorsport, I love Vespas, but I am the furthest thing from high fashion. Just to give you a hint, look what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing a $5 t-shirt from Kmart in Big Bear, California. I got this at Big Bear about six years ago. Kmart's not even around. And it was probably the lowest class place you'd ever buy apparel from. The ball cap I'm wearing, about six years old. 
It's from my favorite soccer team in Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico. And they just tend to lose a lot of games. And I borrowed the white gloves from a technician here at the shop and the Rolex was borrowed from the sales manager, has a whole collection of them. So $22,000. You know, you can do a lot with it. You can break your, break your ankle and pay out of pocket $22,000 to fix it. You can buy two watches. There's so much you can do with it, but maybe you're a fan of high fashion and want the ultra exclusive Vespa. Well, this is for you. Well, thanks for watching. This is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport. Again, if you're interested in all the features of the scooter and how it rides, just go on to our Vespa Motorsport YouTube channel and just search 946 in the search bar and you can see some of my past videos of the Vespa 946 and how it rides, the features of the scooter and more. And if you're watching this years from now, these things have probably been long gone and they're in the hands of collectors. You're not going to easily find one. Just like an Armani, I want to find a perfect one. It probably would cost me more than what it costs new. Until next time, Robot here from Vespa Motorsport scooterwest.com. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.